84 countries, one crown, only one winner. Today's Miss Universe is off the chain. It's sexier, hotter, stronger, more vibrant, more fashion forward than any pageant out there. Miss Universe is the biggest contest of its kind. It is the granddaddy of them all. There is no bigger pageant in the world. No girl who came here on the 1st of August will leave the same girl when the 24th gets here. Most of these girls are very strong. But to be a good competitor, you have to have um, strength of character, you have to have a lot of self-confidence, you have to have the drive to finish the race. This is a stiff competition this year and there's a lot of girls that, that just came to win. They're so proud of who they are and where they came from. Beauty is different in each country because we'll get girls that are tall, short, fat, skinny, light, dark, red hair, brown hair, blonde hair, real hair, fake hair, it's all different. And they're all joined uh, by the fact that they're sharing this unique experience together. So they find those, uh, those commonalities that really tend to bring them together. You know, everybody always says with pageants, they joke about the pageant answer and world peace. and, and People may joke about it with pageants, but I do think any time you bring people from around the world together, it's a good thing. They're very supportive. It, it's surprising, really, because they are competing against one another. And that friendship carries over even through the competition. When they're on stage, they're competing. But like in the dressing room, if someone's having a problem, they'll help one another. But a lot of them, you know, they've won their countries. They've achieved something so great in their life already that they're here to experience something that very few women get to experience. It's such an elite club to get to this point that once they're here, they enjoy the ride. The girls have been here for 21 days. They've come from all over the world, all for the opportunity to become Miss Universe. And it's... Um, it's not easy. It, it's tough. It's trying. They are in it together. They support each other. In the end, they know only one girl will become Miss Universe. But they have all had this universe experience. If they've never worked hard in their life, they learn how to work hard when they get here. The schedule that these girls have it's just grueling. They get up by 6 to have breakfast by 7. Between 8 and 9, they are shooting swimsuit posters. They are doing seminars. They have events. 9 o'clock, they're in rehearsal to sometimes 9 at night. And then they have an event after that. And they do that on a daily basis with a smile. This travels on through the person who's going to win Universe. It's not an easy job. The girl who becomes Miss Universe has a lot to look forward to but a lot of work ahead of her. Miss Universe is a standout. She's somebody that has the it factor. She's somebody when you walk into a room, you're saying, wow, of course that's Miss Universe. I think Miss Universe needs to have integrity and be able to be an ambassador. And it's, I mean, we talk about world peace, and that's Miss Universe is somebody that represents every country, and um, she has um, a big title. She's uh, got to be a multifaceted person, from being in fashion shows to uh, working with children and different organizations, HIV and AIDS. And at the end of the day, we're a beauty pageant. She's got to be beautiful. When the show starts, all of the girls are presented. 
It's a beautiful opening number, full of energy. It's fun. And then you get to, they call out the top 15. At that point, it's the first time they know and we know uh, who the top 15 are. From there it goes, it's a breakdown from 15 to 10 to 5 and then to the finals. Any minute now, one girl's life will be totally changed. Each girl's life is changed a great deal, actually, but that one girl is the girl that will be wearing that crown.